I have dry mature skin and I was thinking of doing a full face or using products that are all powdered so no cream products in today's video except foundation and concealer so for brows I'm gonna go in with my rare beauty brow product this is the brown shape and fill duo you can see how much I've used I'm hitting pen and I'm just going to hold on oh where it is here it is I'm just going to do my brows I rarely do my brows on camera there's there's just too boring to do not much as you can see I'm just gonna quickly fill them in like that it's not much I do on my brows anyways and that's it for brows so I thought I should show them to you because this is a powder type of product so it's not it's kind of putty more powdery I like that because it's not as powdery as eyeshadow but it's more putty so I like that about this because it actually lasts better and it doesn't smudge throughout the day so that's basically it okay so that's all I do for my brows what do you guys think I hope they're okay oh I should put my hair up as well so and I'm excited these are all products from my collection today is like nothing new for primer oh I didn't choose a primer I wonder what you know what I keep testing this out so let's go with this elf power grip primer and this is the one with 4% niacinamide uh, I don't know what I'm feeling about this but you know what let's try it so all I have is like um some cream on my face like uh it's what time is it now right now it's like 5 p.m when i'm filming this so i have sunscreen since this morning but i do have this type of cream my refer for dry skin so this is what i have on my face and i'm gonna put this sticky primer that everyone loves and i don't love it I don't know I've been trying it it feels so yucky like I can't get used to the feeling maybe like it's a good product but because I don't like the sticky part of it like my finger literally gets stuck to my cheek and it feels yucky on my hands only good thing what I like about it is the packaging but so far uh, another good thing is that when I wore any type of foundations they have not looked funny on me so today we're gonna go with the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. And this is in the shade 1 and 2 Vanille. I already did a re full review on this product a while ago and apparently it just went viral right now on TikTok. I have already loved this foundation before it went viral. It is a beautiful, lightweight, flawless foundation. The match is really nice as well. I know I love it it feels very lightweight when you put it on your face it, it gives you a type of I don't know it's I don't want to say oily because it's not oily but it feels very lightweight kind of like um, the Pat McGrath foundation and also the Giorgio Armani foundation okay so for this let's use my elf ultimate blending brush and just blend it in and then I'm gonna go in with a sponge and make sure we get rid of any type of brush strokes so let's see how this foundation actually works with the elf power grip primer i guess a little bit goes a long way with this foundation especially when you use a brush look at those veins i need to cover those maybe with concealer okay so now i'm gonna go in with a dampened sponge and push this foundation in and let's see how it actually works with this primer because if if the primer works with found with any of my foundations that i know I, that I really love i don't really have an issue with it it's just my way of like not liking the sticky part but i don't know let's see i don't see any peeling which is good so so far so good you see how nice and flawless the foundation looks it's beautiful I like it that it doesn't look makeup-y or cakey or drying you don't you can't see that you're wearing foundation it's kind of like skincare let's go into concealer so for concealer I chose my Natasha Denona concealer and this is in the shade 
P2, which has more of a peachy undertone. I also have a neutral one. So let's use this. This is such a beautiful concealer. I'm gonna use this on my eyelids as well. And for this, I should start using this one, the Makeup by Mario F1. And I'm gonna go in with this small brush. And after I'm gonna go with a sponge as well. Not very patient using a um, brush. It feels like it spreads it more than actually blending it in, but it's okay. We're gonna start with this. And then I'm gonna go in with the sponge. So have you guys tried this Laura Mercier foundation? I know Laura Mercier came out with a concealer. I have so many concealers, so I didn't purchase it, even though I'm sure it's as great as this foundation. I have enough concealers for now. I did place an order, which I don't know if this video will be before or after, but maybe you've seen it already on my channel, or maybe you will see it later on. But I did place an order of the uh, Ariana Grande new... Uh, blushes and I picked up a blush and a bronzer. I'll make sure to have a review on that as well and uh, also I picked up the new Glossier bronzer because I do have a lot of the Glossier blushes and I love those blushes They're some of my favorite blushes. They last all day long even though they're cream they last all day long so now we're gonna move on to bronzer and for bronzer, I have chosen the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Light Medium. It's so pretty and warm. It's a great shade. And I'm gonna use my Hourglass Duo Ended Brush. This brush is just amazing. So this part I'm gonna use for bronzer and then this part I'm gonna use for blush. And this is for powdered products only. I do have a new hourglass brush here. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a like unboxing type of short and show you a couple of four new brushes that I purchased that I'm excited to show you. So look out for that video. I know this is more of a bigger brush, but I find it that it works so well with um, powdered bronzer. It seems to distribute the product a little bit more equally and makes it look more natural than going in with more of a sculpting type of brush. I just finished work and I have to cook dinner for the children as well. My son is in hockey right now, but I wanna make sure that I cook and he has some dinner before he comes home. Today I'm planning on um, cooking uh, some Korean food. It's so, so simple. You make some rice, white rice, and we do have a rice cooker. So I usually make eight cups of white rice. No, not eight cups, four cups of white rice. And I have two pounds of um, extra, uh, lean, lean ground beef. You cook the beef till it's completely brown, and then you make sauce. Um, out of some uh, soya sauce, some chili peppers. You put a little bit of salt and pepper in it and also a little bit of sugar. And then that whole sauce you pour over the, the meat and then you let it simmer. Oh, it's so good. It's just the sweetness of the meat with the white rice. It's really good. The kids love it. So yeah, that's what's for dinner tonight. Look how beautiful this bronzer is. I just cannot stop bronzing. Okay, so let's go with this one now. Uh, I chose a drugstore highlighter and it's the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and this is in the shade 10 Be My Highlight. It looks quite dark. I'm gonna use the Makeup by Mario F2, which is this small part of the brush. And let's just highlight here before we apply the actual blush. So it's a very nice and natural highlight. It's not too crazy. You can see right here. I hope you guys can see it. 
Okay, so I usually like to apply my highlight before the blush because I have some fine lines here and also some smile lines. With that, when I apply highlighter, I've noticed that throughout the day, especially if the highlighter is powdery, um, it will kind of emphasize those lines. So I like to apply my highlighter a little bit lower here on the cheek than up here. And then with the blush, combining it with the highlighter, it's going to look even more natural. Okay, so I have a hair here now. Why do all the hairs get attached to my face? Okay, blush. I chose the Dior Rosy Glow Blush in the shade 020 Mahogany. This is a new one in my collection. And for this, I'm going to choose... Yeah, let's go in with the Hourglass brush. I'm going to go in with the small one. This is such a beautiful shade. Look at that. And it's deeper. So I'm just going to be a little bit more careful. I want more of a um, natural brown type of... Um, oh, that's so intense. Look today. So no pinks in today's video. So you have to be very careful with this one because it's a little bit more intense and the pigment is there. So now I'm just gonna blend it with my bronzer here. It's so pretty. It's kind of like, might as well you can use a bronzer if you want, if you're more fair skin. I don't know, I feel like I have little hairs everywhere. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way for sure, but you can see how nice and I don't know, very, uh, not sun-kissed, because it's a little bit more of a burnt look. It looks really pretty. So that's it, I think, for the cheeks. Uh, let's move on to eyes. Okay, so for eyes, I haven't played with this one in a while. So I want to do something simple. And I chose the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. And it's this nice palette. Look how beautiful it is. It comes with two mattes, a sparkle, and a satin. So that's the satin, the dark one. The sparkle is here, and then the two mattes are right, those two light ones. So I'm gonna set my eyes right now with the lightest one. Let's choose this one, the Mora Angled Shader Brush, because most of my brushes are quite dirty right now. And I'm gonna put that light shade all over the I kind of like a powder because this is very similar to my uh, to my eyelid. I have a full review on this eyeshadow palette as well. I would have to say that the only thing with this palette is you have to be careful with I think this dark shade. It could cause some um, fallout, so I have to be careful. Maybe I'll use one of this that it came with inside, and I think no. First, let's actually blend this with this dark shade. I'm gonna use this as in the crease and outer corner a little bit. This is a nice, very um, everyday type of palette to use. So you can just go in with these two shades and mascara and that's it. Like you don't have to follow up with those darker shades. Again, this palette is great for mature eyes as well. If you have mature eyelids, what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to bring it um, up here in the crease and then the outer corner V here. So do you guys like purchasing eyeshadow palettes? I've seen, uh, I haven't seen it in Canada, but I've seen Chanel is coming out with a new quad. And it has a nice, you know, blue in it, even though I don't wear blue eyeshadow, but that palette kind of caught my eye. And I don't own anything by Chanel, like when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. Um, I do own a lot of perfumes by Chanel. Those are some of my favorite perfumes. But I don't know, I was thinking of buying that. I know I said I'm gonna be on a low buy, but that palette looks pretty. Okay, so let's go with, um, I wasn't gonna do anything crazy. Yeah, let's just stick with this darker shade. And I think I'm gonna use one of this, um, what do you call this? I don't know, brushes that the palette came with. Let me use this one, it doesn't have much sparkle. 
I'm just going to touch it a little bit and I just want to put it in the outer corner close to my lash line here. I think that this applies really nice with this and then I'm just going to blend it so it doesn't just look like it's there. So let me know if you have your eyes on any type of palettes that you're interested in buying. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So I put it very close to the lash line starting from the middle and then I'm just going to drag it outwards. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend this. You see? So it, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because if you use a blending brush, it will blend out really nicely, nicely. And I think using it this way this dark shade did not create any type of fallout. Let me intensify the outer corner a little bit more here. Okay, if you hear any snoring, that's Kona down there. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Okay, so let's intensify this side a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with a more flat brush. This is a Moda shader brush. It's so pretty, you see it's more flat. And I'm gonna go into that brown right here. Kind of connect it with the dark shade here so that we have like a nice gradient effect and not like too light and then the dark. I really love this palette because it doesn't emphasize your mm, aging eyes. I'm gonna go with the, let's see, same brush and I'm gonna go into this brown and just add a little bit on the bottom here. And now with the same brush that it came here like the more pointy one I'm gonna go into this dark one and just add a little bit here close to my lash line if it works let's see like I don't want any fallout and I'm gonna connect it with the top kind of following my eye shape here and then with my blending brush just gently blend you see the difference just for a little bit of shaping the eye and connecting the colors together oh i think you know what if you use this palette this way i think it's much better than the way i've used it in a previous video i think i've used the glitters all over the eyelid and then with the finger i've used or brush intensified with the satin black a little bit more but i think it looks much better this way. Just use it very lightly and smoky in the outer V and I think that that's better. Yeah so be careful that that black still creates a little bit of fallout so just keep that in mind. I've noticed a little bit I was able to kind of wipe it off. For mascara I have a new mascara in my collection and I cannot put it down. I love it so much and this is the L'Oreal Panorama Mascara. This is a very voluminous, lengthening, and just a great mascara to own. The top is not flimsy, it's more hard. It has small bristles going downwards, kind of like a Christmas tree, you know? When you draw a Christmas tree, it has those needles very tiny at the top, and as it goes down, they're a little bit bigger. I'll do one eye here so you guys can see, but I do have a full review on this mascara. And... This is a brown black mascara. It comes off at the end of the night very nicely without causing you those raccoon eyes. However, I've noticed that it's just, you just have to kind of massage your, like I use a cleanser at first and then with just hot water, I just massage my lashes. It it feels kind of like a tubing mascara, but I don't think it's described as a tubing mascara. Maybe I'm wrong, but it does come off like a tubing mascara as well. It does, it comes off like both ways with cleanser and a little bit like a tubing mascara. That's what I find. But it is easy to remove, so don't be afraid. And it's just one coat like that and the eye is done. So you can see the difference and I did not edit this part at all so you saw from beginning to end how it looks. So now I'm gonna go off camera and finish my other eye and then let's move on to lips.
Okay, now look how look how this mascara makes a big difference to the eyes. I think uh, I just love it. And look how nice the eyeshadow looks. It's really pretty. Great palette. Again, great mascara. Just with the palette, like I said, be a little bit more careful with the dark shade. Okay, so let's move on to lips. Let's try this new lip combo. So I'm going to try a Tower 28 lip liner. And this is in the shade Draw Me. It's a nice darker type of brown. And I will try. So you can see how dark that is. But let's line the lips with this one. Mm. Make sure that we remove any oil. I just had on my lips the Dior Lip Glow Oil. And this is the one in the shade 007 raspberry so that's the lip oil that i had on my lips the whole um, video and let's see how this is gonna look because i wanted to go with something a little bit darker kind of like the blush so this is more like a contour for the lips okay so after i contour my lips uh where's my uh, brush i thought i had a lip liner brush oh yes i do know where it is Hold on, here it is. So I'm gonna use this Makeup by Mario brush. This is like, I'm not gonna use the lip liner, but I'm gonna use the brush because it feels really nice. And just gonna diffuse this color so that it's not as intense. So you can see that after you diffuse it, it looks much more softer. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use my Merit lipstick. And this is the one in the shade Slip. I love this shade so much so pretty look at that so just use this it's so hydrating it does have a lipstick type of smell and taste and yeah isn't that pretty like look this lip liner i will swatch the lipstick so you guys can see so i combined this shades together so you can see how actually the this color looks really nice with this because if you kind of blend this then the contour is not as harsh but if you like more of a contoured lip then you can just leave your lip contoured and then add a lighter shade let's fix this here a bit i always tend to make one side a little bit more cricket and yeah here is the final look what do you guys think let me take this out oh no leave this in I love my butterfly flowers <laughs> in okay so I wanted to show you that even if you have mature skin or dry skin you cannot be afraid of using just powdered products you don't need to go for creams only and this makeup by Mario bronzer is just so natural and pretty and very easy to use very easy to blend this Dior blush it's so intense so be very careful I suggest I've used this brush from um, hourglass however I suggest to go with a more um, of a, this type of shape brush which is more rounded than um, pointy because I think it distributes the blush a little bit better I was able to kind of fix it a little bit here I found that with this brush when you go with a darker shade of a blush it seems to kind of cling onto your skin but this one was able to just blend it nicely so that's something I've noticed with this blush but final effect i think it looks really nice and it doesn't emphasize any of dry skin or anything like that now in this video i did not use any powder um a good powder you can use is the givenchy or charlotte tilbury if you have dry skin but in this video i just want to just let my face breathe because i've already have enough powder so i hope you guys really enjoyed this um video if you did don't forget to subscribe and i cannot wait to see you in my next one love you guys bye morning has broken my windows are open wanna feel the wind blow through my hair